In France, people are starting to get used to wearing face masks in public. The World Health Organization has recommended people with the coronavirus should use masks to help limit transmission. Now, France is suggesting everyone should wear masks in public to try to prevent a second wave. Our reporter, Guillaume Petit, has been talking to some people in the streets of Lyon to find out how they're dealing with the latest government guidelines. How to prepare a city of 1.4 million inhabitants for lockdown easing without triggering a new wave of contaminations? This is the question Lyon is facing now. For now, no crowds in the streets, no rush for the underground either. Yet in a fortnight, the subways could well be crowded again with one major difference. The wearing of face masks could become mandatory or at least highly recommended. In Lyon, some have already got used to it. I think it's absolutely normal, but the question is, will everybody be able to get one? This is another story. And will the mandatory use of face masks be respected? I've been working every day since the beginning of the lockdown, and one person out of two is not following or wearing it. Two weeks away from the start of a lockdown easing, the public transport network has not waited for instructions from Paris. Mask dispensers are going to be set up in all stations with 10,000 skids, each containing two masks and a bottle of hydroalcoholic gel. The network is also testing this no-contact machine for hand disinfection, but still, keeping a distance of at least one meter in a crowded metro will certainly be tricky. We're going to set up signage and organize the flows in the stations. There will be a different entrance and exit. We're going to set up sound messages and then we'll have agents to explain and refer to distributors. But obviously, there won't be one agent for each bus. But not everything will be solved in a transport zone. Pharmacies, for example, are now allowed to sell masks to the public. With hundreds of thousands of commuters each day in Lyon, the lockdown easing is raising one question. Will there be enough masks for everybody in metros or in buses? Well, the city is also working on making uh, alternative transports easier. Lyon was one of the first European cities to rely on self-service by...